recruiting. Hmm. Why don't you step inside? You'll get paid when the job's done, just like everyone else. Who's next? Hey there everyone, this is Ray Carcillo for Classic Game Room, and today we are taking a look at Mass Effect 2 for the Xbox 360 from EA. After Commander Shepard saved the Citadel and supposedly all of occupied space, he takes it upon himself to hunt down any remaining Geth that may have been loyal to Saren and Sovereign. What Shepard doesn't realize is that he was only scratching the surface of this galactic-wide mystery of the Reapers, as the game opens up with the Normandy, Shepard's ship, being attacked by a distant group of alien traitors known as the Collectors, and supposedly being killed. Two years then pass, and through the miracle of technology, Shepard is revived by another distant group, Cerberus, and their mysterious leader, the Elusive Man. In order to repay his debt, Shepard teams with Cerberus to learn more about why the Collectors have suddenly become so aggressive and unearth the full truth about the Reapers and their ways. Mass Effect 2 is a huge leap forward in both gameplay and the story of Mass Effect. Not only are there more galaxies and planets to explore as the threat of the Reapers begins to expand exponentially, but the choices you have to make and how they influence not only your current game, but any save file you may want to import into Mass Effect 3 is mind-boggling. The most noticeable difference in gameplay comes in the shooting aspects. Mass Effect 2 takes a lot more traditional third-person shooter elements and incorporates them into the game to help smooth out an aspect of the first Mass Effect that quite simply felt clumsy most of the time. Adding in more than 10 times more cover and shooting animations from the first game and better camera angles could be part of the reason why there's a better feel to the shooting experience as well. EA also incorporated the now standard regenerating health after taking cover for some time aspect instead of relying on meta gel like in the first Mass Effect. Another huge change in gameplay comes in exploring the galaxy. Not only more planets and clusters to explore, but the Mako has been wiped from the game almost completely. In order to try to expedite the exploration process that could become tedious and boring, now your ship sends probes onto a planet instead of you and a crew, and you scan the planet's surface, getting sonar pings sent back to the ship when you locate items of interest like raw materials or a distress signal. The RPG elements have also changed. Instead of focusing on armor upgrades or weapon skills when you and your crew level up, now you can just focus on boosts for ammo types and your biotic powers if you have them, as most armor and weapon benefits are assigned directly to the item. Despite all these gameplay changes that bring Mass Effect 2 to an entirely new level from Mass Effect 1, this game still is all about the amazing story and decisions you can make. With thousands of new lines of dialogue that can have really minor effects in the game to some really wide-scale ones, the decisions and story of this game are still the focal points and what makes this a great RPG. Keep one of my team here. You sure? Who knows what you'll find down there? When you take all this and throw in some sharper and more colorful graphics, more fleshed out characters and crewmates with deeper background stories for you to explore, and tremendous voice acting all around, especially Martin Sheen who is just chilling as the elusive man, and Mass Effect 2 is one of the most complete games out there, and is a rare RPG that I recommend playing several times just so you can have extra save files to be important to Mass Effect 3. The only possible negative I see is that I do recommend that you play Mass Effect 1 before playing this just to be up to speed in the story to enjoy this experience as fully as possible. Otherwise, Mass Effect 2 is a phenomenal game, and if you haven't gotten into the Mass Effect series yet, then what the heck are you waiting for? <laughs>